video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA Fire Monkeys for providing me early access to the latest update. This is a pre-recorded build, so in real time, I have actually finished the event uh, and unlocked these beautiful windows. But using this Game Changer game, I've designed this lovely Aspen guest house. It's supposed to be an inexpensive hotel-like lodging with personalized service. There's a pool here and when you turn on the weather machine to snow, it ices over and you can perform the ice skating hobby on it. There is a balcony here that opens up to the cold wind, but you'll see what that space is for when we get in. A bit of gardening on the side with the colors of the trees that match the colors of the trees in the surrounding areas in a way <laughs> and this is the back part of this lovely guest house there is an entrance here or exit if you want and that could work as a front to this build if you want it to be but there's another front part on the side here there's a function hall up top and a function balcony area you could see there's a dj booth and a dinner is about to get started we'll see that at the end and unlike the grand garages live event plot you only get one space for a car uh, and that's it all right so this is the main entrance for this guest house and I wanted it to be obviously so and so I went on to decorate the outside of it with holiday high-rise events uh, closets you unlock those in that event so they look like one by one pillars alongside that door so you walk in you've got a Christmas tree welcoming guests a unit with a mirror against the wall a vintage chair and some glam floor lights so this is the way in to the restrooms for him and for her. We'll see that in a second. But first, this is the main reception as you walk in with icicles to the left and right of the reception desk since it's a cold destination, yes? <laughs> so we have a wine lounge here. You would have drinks like boiled wine or something, you know, because of the cold weather. And you can close the doors, okay? So you don't have to be cold and, you know, you could put heating in here if you want. But I love the mix of furniture in here. That uh, glam coffee table is a favorite of mine uh, and this is one of the reasons why I'm using this game changer game because I get to use some of these unique items that are yet to come in the future <laughs> and you can have ideas on what to do with them when you get them if at all uh, I hope I get them <laughs> so this is an outdoor area on the other side of that lounge so you can have a breakfast out here or a cup of tea or something whatever you want to do so it's a it's a common area okay so through past the reception, as I said before, leads into the restrooms. So there is an alcove set back, and then you've got a door that leads into a general area right here. And then separate entrances to the female bathroom, say on the side here with a couple of toilet units using those wedding bells live event toilet stall doors. And you got the men's section over here uh, with two uh, units as well using the same doors I think they're perfect <laughs> okay so those are the restrooms in the reception area and then you work your way through under these beautiful arches that I hope you've all unlocked at this point <laughs> and this is an empty sort of corridor space and then you come through to this section here and this is that door that faces the rear uh, of the property it's also some sort of an entrance but that's where you've got the beautiful grand staircase and behind it is a lovely white piano that will be unlocked if you embark on the event um, called the Sim Chase 9 Mansion Mania uh, event, right? Okay, so this is an area, lovely lounge, couple of the fancy guests come in here and enjoy some music, sing along, feel festive and so on. And this is actually a double height room, you'll see it in a minute uh, once you go up those stairs. But again, you then work your way through this corridor here with those lovely windows and into the main dining hall. So it's lovely and traditional. You, you know, get your order, decide what you want. Uh, these lovely trays are already set up for you to pick up what you need, sit down on a table and have a lovely meal with a loved one or a group of friends. <laughs> and I decided that some tables would sit two and some would sit three and so on. And here's a lovely view of that garden area. I just wanted it there uh, as a view for the dining space and the other wall faces the pool so they've got a view of the pool and I think that's a beautiful view with another geometric 
odd piece up on the wall on that side. So lots of lovely areas to focus on while you eat and chat and have fun. A closer look at the kitchen and you'll notice that the way in is from outside. So you would have to, as a member of staff, perhaps uh, come out from that part of this guest house and work your way in through here to get your shift started serving these festive guests. So there is a grill in here for pizzas, not for meat. <laughs> and then you've got a cooker oven on the side here and a fridge and three sinks. <laughs> so yeah, everything that is needed to attend to the guests it can be done in that little space so here's a little overview for you i love this guest house i love the floors i love the boards at the bottom part of the wallpaper i think it's neat very neat and i thought it'd be nice to keep it that color giving it that formal establishment touch for a guest house now we're going up the grand staircase and once you get up you can see the double height room above the lovely immaculate white piano imagine the singing echoing through and this idea was from jackson jade who left a comment on the first oval room house i built on this plot saying it'd be great to have a two-story you know oval room uh, with a piano in it and um yeah this is it <laughs> with a beautiful chandelier the landing is furnished as an area to sit down and wait for some friends who might be still getting ready in their rooms or something. It's a waiting area of some sort. And then there are holes to either side of it. On this side, you have a spiral staircase in the passageway to the guest rooms. And it's the same on the other side, but first you look through this corridor with a window at the end and on both sides of it are doors into the guest rooms okay this bed is beautiful i had to use it in the guest house it's, it gave it that traditional touch in a way there are windows here i didn't want the bay windows too much of it is weird okay <laughs> and yeah they have the necessary things in the room and there is a space to hang up their clothes an iron board and so on and a door that leads into an ensuite bathroom i wanted to keep tight with the color scheme so you've got the whites and then you've got the walnuts and this shower which is an old one in the game works brilliantly in the space across the hall you have the exact same layout for a guest room over on this side as you would expect in a hotel even though this is a guest house but still i wanted it to have that touch of formality okay so an ensuite oh well two on this side and then past this spiral staircase portion and past the grand landing past another spiral staircase and a corridor down the end you got a couple of doors that lead into similar en suites and as you can expect it's a full bathroom in here with a shower again and you know everything is in uniform uh, and the other uh, ensuite across the hall is a more expensive room <laughs> and i'll tell you why obviously because there's a balcony attached to it so it's got everything laid out the same way it faces the entrance in a way as you can see but they have a door a couple of doors or a double door that leads into this nice little area for them to eat with a fabulous view of that lovely lake <laughs> so i thought that was a nice idea to somehow as you would expect in any guest house or hotel have a, a unique ensuite that would be a pretty penny more uh, and this is their breakfast area uh you know dinner area whatever they want it to be it could be the lover's suite or something but yeah there are four en suites on this uh section well in the entire guest house <laughs> okay again you know you could go higher and higher and higher and create more rooms but it's not necessary you only get 10 sims in the game but this is the way up to the function area it's a beautiful space and it's all brown and wooden and you know walnutty there's a couple of doors uh, one leads into a little corridor here uh, and the first door on the right leads into a laundry space it's a, it's not a big laundry space it's only four guest rooms right and they've got everything they need to clean all the things used to take care of this guest guest house okay the beds and, and so on and then uh, you have a door leading through in that corridor right down the end 
to the main office for the guest house manager and there might be two or three of them running different shifts there's a window on the side here a phone on the wall some lovely traditional pictures bookshelves and there's a couple of windows at the back part as well so great lighting in that small space down the corridor leads out again around this way to this beautiful balcony lounge uh, and it's really meant to be warm because of the grey geo fireplace that you see here that comes from the glam event and you know if you think about it it's a wide door that's opened up to this cold snowy balcony uh, and the idea is that it's like an outdoor space to be by the fire but still you're within the guest house and that's why i've used these lovely chairs with the throws on them so they come out here and really keep warm with a hot cup of tea by the fireplace and just snuggle in and, and chat into the night if they wanted to with a great view of the lake so you work your way back out past the spiral staircase landing into this lovely uh, function hall area. Lots of things can happen here, dances and so on. There's an area just tucked away in the corner where you can sit down, and have a glass of wine, a bit of uh, nibbles here and there, hors d'oeuvres. And you could put a dance floor in the middle, but I didn't want to. They clashed with the entire space in terms of the color. And this is the bar area. I think it's really nice. And I'm just gonna get a couple of sims to come and make the place work. There are these beautiful glam floor lights, the burgundy floor trio lights. They're very nice. Along with the gold uh, pendant lights that have just lit up right now when the sim came in, they're very pretty. So this is a nightlife part of this um, guest house. I think it's very lovely. And there's a bay window back there. Uh, yeah, just because it makes up a beautiful structure of the build. So both spiral staircases lead up into this area and it makes up one big hall, doesn't it? Now, these couple of doors lead out to this function balcony area too. I think it's very pretty. And all the guests who are here say they're staying here up until the New Year's um, celebration. They'll be out here on this balcony watching the fireworks, listening to the music from the DJ booth and really celebrating. So it's all prepped and ready in advance. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I, I really like the design of this house. It's a, a guest house. I didn't really want it to be a hotel. Some of the items we unlocked in this Christmas event are quite traditional. So a guest house worked well and I haven't done a live build for this yet, but I do have the floor plan. Uh, and I have now been putting floor plans up on our Facebook group. So feel free to join. It's the same name as the channel, Joyce Creative Finger Group. There's also a page. You can like that page too. And exclusive content is being released in that group. Uh, live build videos are going up there. Uh, and floor plans, as mentioned earlier, for the last couple of builds that I've put up, the floor plans are up on that page. Uh, as we speak. Obviously there'll be live builds for more complex builds like floating rooms and things like that <laughs> uh, and so on. So don't forget to join that group if you want to uh, have the live build or floor plans for the properties that you like and see on this channel. So I'm just stopping my sims here and there and getting them to come out here and party. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon in the new year. Take care. Bye. Nerves, doesn't it?